Hello again, my dear students in primary three. Today we are going to complete unit six. Uh, lesson two. Lesson two here is about polygons. It's about polygons. And as you know, we took polygons in primary two, but we are going to take some new features for the polygons. Let's start together. What is the polygon? What is the polygon? The polygon is a closed shape formed from three straight sides or more. As can you see here in these shapes, I have closed shape and I have all straight lines. I don't have any curves here and they are all closed. So polygon is a closed shape formed from three straight sides or more. The minimum number of sides in the polygon is three. Okay. If I look to these shapes, huh, this one, is this one a polygon? You will think it's closed. Yes, so it's a polygon. No, it's not a polygon because it has a curve. I have to make sure that I have two conditions. One, the first condition is that it will be closed. And the second condition that it, it doesn't have any curves, any curves. But this one is closed. But the second condition, it has a curve. So it's not a polygon. Okay, what about this? It doesn't have any curves, but it's open. It's not closed. So this is not a polygon and this one also is not a polygon. Okay, let's look to this shape. Is this shape a polygon? Let's see together. Huh? It's a closed shape. It doesn't have any curves, so it's a polygon. Okay, let's count together how many sides we have. How many sides we have. We have here, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. I have five sides. I have five sides. Okay, let's count how many vertices I have. One, two, three, four, Five also, I have the same number of vertices. What the meaning of vertices? Miss, I, I didn't remember what the meaning of vertices. Vertex is the point when the two sides are meeting. When the two sides are meeting, this is the vertex or this point is called vertex. And vertex is only for one point, but vertices for many points. We are, we are, when we are going to talk about one point, we are going to say vertex. About many points, we are going to say vertices. Okay. So in any polygon, the number of sides equal the number of vertices. The number of sides equal the number of vertices. Okay. So how many sides does this polygon have? It has five sides. It has five sides. And how many vertices? Five also. Okay, let's remember together the 2D shapes that we took also in primary two and see if they are polygons or not. Let's see the first one, huh? What's the name of the first shape here? It's a circle, it's a circle, excellent. The circle has how many sides? It has no sides, so it has zero sides. And how many vertices? As I have no sides, so I have no vertices. So the circle doesn't have any sides and doesn't have any vertices. Is it a polygon? No, it's not a polygon because it's curved. It has no sides, so it's not a polygon. Okay, let's move to the next shape. I have what? Do you remember the name of the shape? Yes, triangle, excellent. Triangle has how many sides? One, two, three. One, two, three sides. So I have three sides, and when I have three sides, without counting, I have three vertices because they are the same number, three sides and the three vertices. Okay, let's move to the next shape here. I have one, two, three, four. I have four sides, that's the square. I have four sides, and all sides are equal. All sides are equal equal and how many vertices i have also four vertices as you see okay let's move to the next tree what i have here rectangle excellent rectangle has four sides let's count them one two three 
four sides and for sure four vertices but all sides here are equal no two long sides two and four are long sides one and the three are short sides okay so i have two short and two long they are not equal like the square huh. this shape do you remember this shape we took it also in primary two let's remember it together huh this shape is trapezoid is trapezoid how many sides in the trapezoid let's count together how many sides we have one two three four i have four sides also i have four sides and four vertices but are they equal no they are not equal sides they are not equal sides okay next one next one what i have here in the next one let's count huh one two three four i have also four vertices it's what it's the rhombus this shape is called rhombus okay and rhombus has five four sides and four vertices and like the square all sides are equal all sides are equal so the square and the rhombus has the same number of sides and they are equal also in sides or, or their sides are also equal. Okay, let's move to the next one. I have how many sides here? Let's count together. How many sides I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five sides. Do you remember when I have five sides? What's the name of the polygon? We took it also. Let's remember it together. Huh? It's pentagon. It's pentagon. You have to memorize these names very well, okay? Uh, when I have five sides and five vertices, so the name of the polygon is pentagon, pentagon. Okay, next one I have, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six sides. Six sides, what's the name of the polygon now? It's like six, hex, okay, hexagon, hexagon. Hexagon has six sides and has six vertices. Don't forget. Okay, let's move to another shapes. I have another two new shapes. Octagon. Octagon. Let's count how many sides in the octagon. How many sides I have. Let's count them together. One two three four five six seven eight i have eight sides it's like the octopus the octopus has how many legs eight excellent so octagon is like the octopus they have eight but the octopus eight legs but the octagon has eight sides and eight vertices this is a new polygon for us this year okay we have another Polygon. What is the other polygon I have? This one. It's just like the rectangle. Is parallelogram. Parallelogram. Again, the name of the new polygon. Parallelogram. How many sides I have? Let's count. One, two, three, four. I have also four sides and four vertices. This is the parallelogram. Let's know more about the octagon and the parallelogram. Octagon, as you see, is a 2D shape that has eight sides and eight vertices. Eight sides and eight vertices. So when I have an exercise and it's complete, what is the shape or space is a shape that has eight sides and eight vertices. What will I write? I will write octagon, okay, octagon. Okay, now the parallelogram. Parallelogram is a 2D shape that has four sides and four vertices, but each two opposite sides or each two sides are parallel. One is like three and two is like four. They are parallel means they will never intersect. They will never intersect. This one is parallel with this one means they are moving in the same way. They are moving in the same way and they will never intersect. Two and four, they, also, they are also moving in the same way. 
and they will never intersect. So it's called parallelogram because it has four sides. Each two sides are parallel. Each two sides are parallel. Okay, all the 2D shapes that we revised here and the, new, uh, the two new ones, the octagons and the parallelogram, each one has a name. Octagon, parallelogram, triangle, square, and so on. But they are all what? Polygons. They are all polygons, except the circle. Except the circle. Okay. Let's solve this one together. Classify each polygon. Now, I want to look to the shapes. They are all polygons. And I will just say the name of each one. Huh? What's the name of this one? Rectangle. Excellent. Rectangle. Huh? This one, do you remember the name? It is a new one. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. And this one, rhombus. Here, let's count to know one, two, three, four, five, six. Six like hex. So it's hexagon, hexagon. And this one is triangle. Here, let's count the sides one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs or eight sides. Remember, octagon like the octopus. Okay. Here, how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, five is pentagon. Excellent. And this one is a square. Okay. Okay, let's see another exercise. Here I have a word problem. I have to answer it. Uh, yet, draw a square. Okay, draw a square. Then he drew a triangle on top of the square, like this. He drew a square, then he drew a triangle on the top of the square. What is the new polygon? What's the new polygon I have here? Let's count the side to know what's the name of the polygon. One, two, three, four, five, Will I count this side? No, I will count only the outside lines. So I have five sides. And what's the polygon that has five sides? It's pentagon. Excellent. It's the pentagon. I don't count the inner or the, the lines that inside the shape. Okay, I will not count the lines inside the shape. I will just count the outline the sides. So I have five sides and it's the pentagon. Okay, another exercise. Explain why the shape of the tembrine is not a polygon. This tembrine, why we, we don't consider it as a polygon? Huh? Who can tell me why this tembrine is not a polygon? Excellent, because it has curves. It has curves, this one and that one. Two curves I have here and doesn't have any sides. So it's not a polygon. Next one, color the, color the shape that answers the question. I have many shapes and I have many sentences that describe this shape and I want to decide which one we are talking about. I have here, what's the name of the shape? Let's count the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, hexagon. Here, one, two, three, four, it's rectangle. This is the triangle and this is the parallelogram. Okay, I am at 2D shapes. Huh? They are all 2D shapes. Okay, let's see the other sentence. I have less than four sides. I have less than four sides. So it's not the hexagon and it's not the rectangle and it's not the parallelogram because they are all four sides. But I want the shape that it has less than four sides. So it's the triangle. Let's make sure that we are right. I have more than two vertices and it has three vertices. So our shape is the triangle. Our shape is the triangle. Okay. 
That was our lesson for today. It was about the polygons. Study the names of the polygons very well and study the new ones, the octagon and the parallelogram because our next lesson will uh, have the parallelogram many times. Thank you for listening. I see you in the next video and goodbye.